I mean, we're pharmacists, so different pharmacy organizations send out like email summaries of major things that are happening every day. So I found that a good way to kind of keep up with what's going on. Um, also, the na is it the National Register? Is that what it's called? The National Federal Register. The Federal Register. Um, when they're scheduling these new drugs of abuse or putting out warnings or things like that, it's actually posted um, in the Federal Register for people to review. There's actually one of the new drugs of abuse is, is getting scheduled like effective next month, right? Mm -hmm. um, and we found out about it through the posting of that. Um, and it's honestly not even just new designer drugs of abuse. Drugs like gabapentin and pregabalin, things that we use in pain management all the time, are starting to be abused as well. So even looking and monitoring patients to make sure they're not abusing the medications that we're prescribing for them that aren't even opioids. So it's a scary world out there. Okay, so a lot of the new drugs of abuse, that's kind of one of the the perks or benefits of them is that they're relatively inexpensive, they're relatively accessible, so people can order them on the internet, you can buy them at convenience stores, head shops. Um, a lot of times, some of the substances are rapidly changing to skirt legal issues with them, and some of the things um, are totally legal. For instance, Kratom, until um, last week when there was a notice put in the Federal Register saying that it's going to be temporary scheduled next month. It was a substance that was considered, um, you know, no legal restrictions in most places. So it is com somewhat scary that a lot of these aren't, um, mm -hmm. have any sort of legal restrictions associated with them and a lot of times they're kind of advertised as legal highs or herbal products. Natural. Yes. Um, and so it might lead the user to believe that they're safe when in all reality that they're not benign substances and do have, um, in some cases, very serious toxicities associated with them. Some of these substances, when they're sold in these head shops or on the internet, are labeled not for human consumption, but that's exactly what they're intended for. So another attempt to kind of skirt the law.